Hi guys and welcome back to Interview Medmas. Today is day 10 of Interview Medmas. I hope that you're enjoying it. The question today is on a new topic. The topic is NHS hot topics and slash understanding the role of medicine in society. And today's question is a really, really important one that we talk about all the time when we actually are medical students. And the question is, do you think doctors should set a good example to their patients in their own lives? How and why might this be difficult? So again, pause the video, jot down a few ideas, use this as like active recall, trying to take stuff from your brain, put it on a sheet of paper, and then we can regroup just in a few seconds. Talk about it. Pause the video. So first let's start with the purpose of this question like we always do. And the purpose of this question is for the interviewer to make sure that the interviewee understands that being a medical student, being a nursing student, just being uh, a student that will then, you know, become a professional in the NHS or professional in healthcare requires a level of duty. And however unfair it might seem, you are in a way still re representing the profession, even in your own personal life. And it's a bit of a ethical subject, a bit of a subject that really needs digging and you can't really answer a question that important in six minutes, but the interviewer just really wants to see how you're thinking, make sure that you have some degree of an understanding that as a medical student, you realistically are going to become a professional, you are going to become a doctor if everything goes well, and you need to make sure that your actions don't deter, don't take away some trust in the profession of the people that are surrounding you. You know, you don't want to act in a certain way and then people around you will think that all doctors are like you and then lose trust in going to the doctor, lose trust in the profession as a whole. So the way you, I would actually structure my answer is I would start with a broad overview of what the duty of a doctor actually is. So I wrote down here that the duty of a doctor is to do good, do no harm, give advice to patients on how to stay healthy and how to become healthy. And the other thing that I would mention is to make clear that the opinion of a doctor matters a lot. When, pe when you become a medical student, when you become a doctor, your surroundings, the people around you will weigh up your opinion a lot. People will start calling you that are not even your patients, they're just your friends, that are going to call you and ask you questions about their own health. And your opinion matters. Obviously, you can't give advice because you're not their doctor, but your opinion, even in an unprofessional setting, matters a lot more than if you were doing another degree not in the healthcare setting. And then I would move on to explaining why, in my opinion, it would be really good for doctors to set a good example. And then I have two points that I really developed a lot. These points can be similar to yours, or maybe you have other points, so just make sure that you at least have two that you develop quite well. So the first one that I had was that it makes them more credible. They are a living example of what the patient should be doing. So my example was like, if a doctor, let's say, smokes a lot, they smoke many cigarettes, the, the, the consultation room smells like cigarettes, and you just enter and you know that the doctor smokes. And then the doctor is asking the patient, do you smoke? And then the patient says, yes. And then you like, how much do you smoke? Say, oh, 15 a day. And then the doctor's like, oh, that's quite a lot. You should definitely stop smoking. It's really unhealthy for your health. You know that it can cause cancer. It can cause cardiovascular disease. It's really, really, really not good. Here are like all of the clinics you can go for smoking cessation. In the patient's mind, if they know that the doctor is smoking as well, instantly what the doctor is saying is less credible. You know, you have to understand that the doctor might be stressed, the doctor might also be going through many, many things and that's why they're smoking. But the fact that they're smoking and then saying to the patient, don't smoke, is a bit of like, do what I say, not what I do. And then sometimes the patient might not even listen because they're like, you're the doctor, you've been doing this degree, you've done the degree, you know exactly what it's going to do to you, but you still decide to smoke. So I don't know anything. What you're saying might not be just true you know, you're still smoking, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. And then the other thing that I was going to say in this sort of like why it would be good would be that at least if, if you're setting a good example, patients can actually look up to you and then mimic what you're doing and, you know, have you as an example, as a model to be like, I want to be healthy like my doctor, for example. Um, and then the, it kind of shows them that they have a goal to reach, it's attainable and shows as well that the doctor really truly wholeheartedly believes in what they preach. And so it will give like more weight to the argument of the doctor in a sense. So kind of these two points kind of just are interlinked. And then 
I would move on to being like, however, all of this is in an ideal scenario and it is challenging to set a good example as a doctor. And why are what are the reasons for that? The reasons are that being a doctor is stressful. Being a doctor is hard. You have long hours, you miss birthdays, all of the difficult things that you can list about being a doctor. Doctors are also human and we go through the exact same things that every single other person in the population goes through. You know, we have bad habits and sometimes we need to find comfort for everything that's going on in our lives and certain things. And some of us find comfort comfort in like healthy habits, let's say, and other people find comfort in um, food, smoking, even if they know they're bad, it's a way for them to cope. And, you know, it's a really, really busy lifestyle and sometimes it might be really difficult to find when to eat a good cooked meal. Maybe you'll come home every day at night and you don't have to cook, so you just take a takeaway. Stuff like that. So that's why it's really challenging to set a good example. In theory, it's so good. It's really important to set a good example. But you also have to understand that it is challenging and there are drawbacks and doctors are also human and we also have to improve as well. So you would say all of that and then I think you would wrap it up by answering the first question being like, do you think that doctors should set a good example? And then at this point in time, you would say yes or no, or you would be like, yes, it's important to do that. It's really important to set a good example for the reasons I've mentioned earlier. But at the same time, we also have to understand that it's challenging and that we're all human something like that. So yeah, day nine, day 10, sorry, day 10 is over. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this video with other people that could benefit from it as well. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go now. We're going to see each other again tomorrow for day 11. And I hope that you have a marvelous, marvelous day. Bye guys. <laughs>